Ever find yourself stuck in an endless cycle of frustration? That gnawing sensation of being trapped in a maze with no clear exit in sight. It's a feeling we are all far too familiar with. Frustration is universal. It's a language we all speak fluently. Picture this. It's Monday morning, you're stuck in traffic, late for an important meeting. Or perhaps you're at home struggling to assemble that perplexing piece of furniture. Maybe you're wrestling with a stubborn software bug that just won't budge. Frustration lurks in these everyday situations, waiting to pounce when we least expect it. It's an unwelcome guest that throws a wrench in our well-laid plans, a cloud that casts a shadow over our sunny days. But what if we told you there's more to frustration than meets the eye? Frustration isn't just about feeling stuck. It's a signal. Imagine you're in a labyrinth. Each turn you take seems to lead to another dead end. The walls close in and frustration mounts, but then a light bulb moment. You step back, reassess. You realize the maze isn't the enemy. It's a challenge daring you to think differently, to adapt, to pivot. Consider Thomas Edison who made a thousand unsuccessful attempts at inventing the light bulb. Each failure a source of frustration. But did he let it deter him? No, he used it as a signal to reassess, to adapt, to pivot. And voila, the light bulb was born. So, what's the takeaway? Frustration isn't the enemy, it's a messenger nudging us to change our approach, to innovate, to grow. So frustration isn't the real challenge, it's how we respond to it that matters. Having recognized frustration as a signal, let's delve deeper. Picture yourself back in that labyrinth. The walls aren't just walls, they're challenges. Puzzles waiting to be solved. Each dead end, not a setback, but an opportunity to learn, to innovate. Now imagine these walls are actually doors. Doors that only open when you approach them with a different mindset, a fresh perspective. Frustration is the key to these doors. It's that nagging feeling that pushes you to try a different key, to take a different path. It's the force that drives you to engage with the challenge, to connect with the problem, and ultimately, to grow from the experience. Remember, each frustration is an invitation to a better solution. So, the next time you feel frustrated, don't retreat. Step forward, unlock the door, and embrace the opportunity to grow. After all, the labyrinth was never meant to trap you. It was always meant to set you free. Are you enjoying the video so far? We hope our take on frustration is resonating with you. You see, we're all about exploring the human experience here, and your engagement helps us do just that. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We release new content regularly, and we'd love for you to be a part of our journey. Now, let's get interactive. Do you have any questions about frustration, or maybe an instance where it served as a catalyst for you? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. We're eager to hear your perspective, and we promise to find answers to your questions. Remember, we're in this labyrinth together, navigating the twists and turns of life. Now let's continue with our journey of understanding frustration. Let's explore on scene four, where we visualize frustration as a catalyst, not a barricade. It's this spark that fuels the fire in us, pushing us to think differently, to challenge what's normal. It's the hidden nudge that tells us there's a more efficient path. Now you may be pondering how can something so uneasy be a stimulus for improvement. Here let's take into account how a pearl comes into existence. It all begins with an irritant, a mere grain of sand penetrating an oyster. The oyster's response? It doesn't expel it. Instead, it welcomes the uneasiness, enveloping the irritant in layer upon layer until a stunning pearl emerges. Similarly, when we encounter frustration, we have two options. We can let it overpower us, or we can utilize it as a springboard towards creativity and breakthroughs. So when you find in scene four riddled with frustration, keep in mind, it's not an issue. It's an opportunity.